the drug that we studied in this, in this trial is called AT101, and it's actually derived from a parent compound that is uh, from uh, cottonseed. And uh, in the Chinese medicine and in the Orient, it's been used uh, for a variety of things, in, in, including as a fertility agent. Um, they used it to treat cancer, and a uh, company uh, here in the United States has sort of purified it and got the most active part of it, uh, and, and now I'm marketing that drug or developing that drug uh, to be called AT101. And uh, we've been interested in this drug at UAB for a variety of tumors. Uh, it's a small molecule, and so uh, we believe it would get in the brain. Uh, and in fact, the, the parent drug was actually tested in brain tumor patients many years ago in, in, in a clinical trial. So that was uh, our interest in brain tumors to see if this drug by itself would have activity. Uh, and we're testing it in patients that have already had all the standard treatments, the surgery to remove as much as possible, uh, the standard chemotherapy and, and radiation treatments that, that do help patients. But these are patients that uh, may have even had other therapies beyond those initial treatments. And so their prognosis is, is very poor. But we, we did have a dramatic reduction in, in one of the patients that was treated and um, uh, had a clear benefit in, in that patient. Other patients have gone many months without uh, growth of their tumor. Uh, but this is uh, a still a preliminary finding and we haven't followed the patients long enough to see if the average for the whole group will live longer than we expected. If you have a bad tumor and it's not growing, you're and not causing problems for you, that's a good thing. So, so if, if we're able to do that with a, with a well-tolerated oral medication, then, then that's, a, that's, a, that's a big benefit.